now at the plate Luis Garcia he'll start things out here in a tie ball game. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys both offenses make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Therefore it is Stanton and he's got it for the first out. Striding in now for the Nats Juan Soto. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. All one. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Right to him. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. And now for Washington, Salvador Perez. He singled in his first A.B. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Comes set with the 0-1. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So he's aboard following the two out base hit and here in the penultimate month of the season okay. look up that word in your summer homework okay. kids it's time to check out the league leaders in team batting average and you can see there they're just one place off the top spot in the NL in that category. Standing in now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one he's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0 delivery. A ball and a strike. Two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 1. Hit out towards second. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time they won't get an out on the play. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He grounds it sharply to third. Throw on to first is going to get him and the Nationals blow an opportunity here and that ends the inning. Nats leave a pair on to the bottom of the fourth now still with no score. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian here as Francisco Lindor gets ready to kick off the inning. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Now here's the pitch. Hey that's just a great mix of pitches right there and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Here's a little chopper up the middle. He's got it. Throw on to first and one shortstop grounds out to the other one away. The right fielder, number three. So one gone in the Five. inning now and that will bring in the right fielder Four. Bryce Harper. Field in the overshift here. Now the pitch. No balls and one strike. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Lays off the sinker here. A ball and a strike. And 
And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. One out, nobody on. And he lost him. Ball four is Harper will reach. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but now he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. At the plate now is Giancarlo Stanton, a base hit in his first trip. From the belt, the pitch. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Now the 2 0 home is swung on and missed, strike one. One of my pet peeves in the game. 1 0, 2 0, 3 1. You're all over the heater. How are you late on that fastball? A little early, and now it's even at 2 and 2. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Here now the 2 2. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Ball one to start the at bat. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play and the inning is over. Like clockwork, a four to six to three double play to end the threat. More from the show, Saturday baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. You gotta be happy. Keep fighting for me. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Leori Garcia. First pitch on its way. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the Thank inning. At the plate now, Victor Robles. And he puts it on the ground to second. He's right there. And quickly, there are two away. Base is empty, two away. And that sends Patrick Corbin to the plate next. Now here's the first offering. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. No runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Nationals gone in order. Halfway home, still no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Javier Baez. Third baseman, Javier. 
Fire. First pitch coming. Here it is. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside. One and zero. Oh. That's by him for strike one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. The 1-1 one, one is strike two swinging. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Two and two now to Baez. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Robles waits on it. One out. One out, base is empty. And in steps the catcher, JT Real Muto. First pitch of the AB on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. They know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a 3 1 in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. The three and one pitch. He has swung on and missed a full count now. When you get yourself to a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. At the plate, Corbin Burns. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 1 0. Grounded down the third baseline. Go on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Seven. New inning set to get underway, and set to go is the second baseman, Julian Chavez. First pitch of the AB now. Nope. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously, it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Show track is going to give us a better look at that play. You usually don't see third baseman show off a lot of range, but he certainly did there. And to complete the play, uncorked a good hard throw across to first for the out. Nice play all around from the hot corner. So now to the plate, Luis Garcia, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. The 1-0 -oh misses for the second ball. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. He pulls this one into right, but this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Here now is Juan Soto. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor 1 and 0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. 
on a line that's a base hit and the two out hit extends the inning for Salvador Perez it's like magic or something he's given up a boatload of hits but they haven't been able to chase a runner home yeah he's got the outs when he's needed him and seems to be really comfortable pitching from the stretch hard to keep that up over several innings though. Here's the catcher Salvador Perez as he'll take a breaking ball too low and it's one and oh he's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. And he misses again two and oh two oh to a guy with this kind of pop you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Now a sinker falls in there for a called strike two and one. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first with time to spare and the side is retired. Nationals leave one and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Yeah. Digging in will be Willie Castro. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The second baseman, Willie Castro. First pitch on its way. And he squares this one nicely and it's lined into center field for a leadoff single. Yeah. Stepping in now, Joaquin Dias as he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Robles is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. So a runner at first now with one away. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. Has a look now the pitch. Swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Boy, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there, and see you later. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. It was a walk in his last trip. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch.
in the dirt here and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Now a slider well off the plate an easy take there. Two out with the man at first. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. 